Welcome to Kitchen Spike the Skyrim Shiz Delicious Blue Intro. Welcome to your love tarot reading. This is your soulmate reading. We're gonna see what's going on between you and your soulmate. Low key, a love and separation reading. Divine feminine to divine masculine. Anyone in between? Let's see. Please show me in your halls of what is happening for my blue angels uh, between them and their person. Okay. Interesting. This is an interesting. <laughs> Interesting, interesting. Someone's really, um, someone's spying on you, Bitveil. Vale. I'm not gonna lie. They're, uh, somebody's spying on you. They're not really talking to you, but they're, they're not reaching out. They're not trying to start a conversation, but they are thinking about you very intensively and definitely a lot of spying going on in all kinds of different ways. Hmm. Uh, it's almost like telepathic communication. You know, someone could be dreaming about you. It's all about the mind, but it's like, you know, in that psychic, psychic sphere, that person is, is obsessively thinking about you. Um, I think someone's trying, not, it's like they're not reaching out. Also, like their thoughts are really crowded, right? Their thoughts are crowded. Um, con they're confused. They don't know what to do. When it comes to how they see the situation with you, I think this person is a little bit immature. I'm not going to lie. You are dealing with someone who is less mature than you. It doesn't have to be in years, could be in mind, body, or soul, but they, they are someone who really struggled with some kind of a conflict that happened between the two of you. And, you know, if it was um, for someone who cut contact or if it was someone who, uh, you know, kind of, I don't know, uh, really struggled with the conflict, it, it is because of their immaturity. They don't know how to handle conflict. They didn't know how to uh, resolve an issue. So rather than resolve the issue, they preferred to end the connection or give up on the connection, stuff like that. You have the King of Wands and the Ace of uh, Cups here as well. So, you know, this is someone who in their intentions is definitely not given up on this love. And they are definitely spying on you, thinking about you reminiscing, kissing you in their sleep. They're just, it's just someone who, it could be someone who like really has an issue with conflict in general. There were arguments here, some kind of a conflict. Maybe you gave them an ultimatum. There's something this person um, couldn't handle here is what I'm saying. Sorry, sorry but I'm just looking down because, you know, mommy's really prone to bruising. And I just like, um, I just like, I have so many bruises always, and, like, um, sometimes I bleed for no, I mean, it's like an autoimmune thing or like bad skin, whatever. So I just started bleeding randomly for no reason. And I don't want my, I don't want the blood to get on my clothes. All right. Anyways, I just a little scratch, you know? All right, so uh, anyway, let's get back to the reading. But you know, maybe blood was spilt in this connection. Maybe there's something vampiric about the person or about this relationship. It could be something, you know, really deep. It could be like, a, um, what is that? Like the M Megan Fox thing, right? And um, Machine Gun Kelly, like somebody was drinking somebody's blood, you know? Somebody was suckling on somebody's blood. Um, something here could have been, you know, that deep that it felt like, you know, blood was being spilt and it's just the sense, I would just be very cautious to hear my bill because I feel like you're more mature than they are, and I think you handled it much better than they did, because they're, they're coming up as a page, not even a night. It's not my favorite kind of energy. Um, before we get into your reading, though, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot if you're new, and if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you, I appreciate you, I love you, I see you, baby, give mommy a kiss. One more bit, Bill. <laughs> it's always such a pleasure to have you with me. Uh, as as some of you know, I am Scorpio Sun and Rising, so it's extra, extra um, intense here all the time. <laughs> a lot of um, intense uh, vibes. But yeah, so look, this person wishes they had been more magnanimous with you, actually. You got the Six of Cups for what they regret the most. Um, six of Cups. Six of um, Pentacles. But, you know, maybe Six of Cups is missing you, too. Um Six of Pentacles, uh, they regret not being fair. They regret not doing the back and forth. They regret, you know, maybe, you know, not giving you your fair share or, or not trying to resolve a conflict. There's a conflict here that was left unresolved, uh, left without closure. It, it could have been quite painful too, but Bill, you know, maybe you wanted to have that closure. Maybe you wanted to feel like that person was fighting for you and they just didn't. So, you know, they feel like they shortchanged you on that. Like they didn't know how to fight for this connection. They didn't know how to do right by you. Um... And they just bailed, they bailed on the conflict. They bailed, they bailed on the responsibility because they don't know how to uh, take up responsibility. Um, but this is somebody who's not, you know, it's not somebody who's like finished, finished with a responsibility or who's just given up on themselves completely because you do have the higher font here. Um, you know, this is the energy of responsibility of the Taurus, the Venus, uh, you know, uh, energies. This is stability. This is stability and love and responsibility doing the right thing. So I feel like this person is coming back around to do the right thing because they really regret that they didn't do that in the first place. 
Let's see what their issue is. Mommy's going to take a little. Oh my gosh. Blue angels. Mommy's been so naughty. I've been up to so much no good. I don't even, I can't even. We're not going to be doing this for long though. Okay. So. <clears throat> yeah, singularity. Look, this person knows that you are the one for them. You're very special to them. Singularity. There's nothing like you out there. No one, no, nothing, no one like you out there. But they struggle with that. I think they could be quite peculiar too. There's, there could be something weird or odd about your person. Not to denigrate them, but it's just like, you know, for example, my Mars is, is an Aquarius and I like my boys a little, a little weird. I just like when something's a little off about them because it's like, you know, Aquarius eccentricities. It's something like that, you know, um, singularity. But they also like appreciate that you, you know see through that or beyond that and they appreciate that you're not like other boo-boos um at least in their book uh, and that's how it should be uh, it's all about how that person perceives you how you perceive them mm, that's what matters and self-care yeah i don't think they take care good i don't think they take good care of themselves they might struggle with self-love issues they might struggle with you know issues of feeling like they they can carry responsibility something here about not so much dodging responsi responsibility but coming at responsibility in a very defeatist way you know assuming uh failure assuming you're not going to be able to do something assuming that um maybe you know you're like the singularity you're like this sensation you're like this big fish in a small pond and this person really like doesn't know how to um you know how to so it's like this person doesn't know how to how to take a bite out of that, you know? They don't know how to handle you. They may be on a different level to you, much like lower in a way, I guess. You know, you could say, not to say that they're like a, less of a person. It's just, they're just a lower level when it comes to love, when it comes to knowing how to love and stuff like that. Uh, let's see what the goddess is saying. I got my Gibraltar Oracle deck out. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> Her wicked ways. I th okay, so there's something here. Look at these oracles. They're so funny. Look at this one. Her wicked ways. It can be her, him, anyone between. doesn't matter. But both genders are arbitrary. But there's a sense here that you're afraid of, of, of having boundaries and you're afraid of telling people how you want things because you're afraid of being perceived as bad. And this is like, you know, this is a feminine thing too, a very much so. So if you identify as a woman, you know, take heed of this. Mommy's going to tell you something. Mm men and people and humans and sometimes even animals well no not animals because animals are scrumptious and innocent but um um <clears throat> people and men will gaslight you into thinking that mm, you're difficult or commandeering or aggressive or a scary woman if you have good boundaries and if you know what you want you will be painted as the wicked woman even in the, still in the 21st century in the civilization we live in this is just like so ingrained into the patriarchy um somebody here was afraid you were scared of you don't want to be the bad guy basically you know you wanted to be like the scrumptious nice spiritual little bit bit who uh who was there to support the other person and i think at, that happened at the expense of your boundaries and what you wanted out of a relationship or a connection and this person got away with murder with a lot of cowardice with not addressing issues with escaping from conflict and they you know you know just expected you to be so scrumptious and sweet and when you did put up your boundaries maybe that's why they're seeing you in this conflict here you know when you put up your boundaries and told them how it is they didn't like it they got scared because they're expecting whether you're in the feminine energy or not because they but they were expecting a boo-boo to be sweet and a boo-boo to be submissive and just because we're scrumptious and sparkling and and moisturized doesn't mean we're going to be submissive baby remember that all right alien knows look at him look at him <laughs> he wanted me to be submissive look at him now i'll deflate no i'm just kidding he's my perfect boyfriend all right he's my main boyfriend <clears throat> This alien thing is like so ongoing. It, it's like the longest running uh, thing I've ever done, I think. All right. Um, so you know what I mean? Like don't be afraid of being painted as the bad woman if, if it means you get to express your boundaries or the bad bit boo, the bad man, anyone in between. If it means you get to express your boundaries and what it is you want in a relationship. And don't be afraid of how this person is going to take it. They need to learn that those are your boundaries. It, it can't be one-sided all of the time. It can't be that the masculine in its perverse form, as we know it, in the 21st century um always gets its way and, and the feminine is always subdued and always shamed and always vilified there's nothing wicked about having boundaries and knowing what you want baby there's nothing wicked and or cold about um 
not giving love to a prisoner situation that's making you feel uncomfortable or unfulfilled. It's just common sense, baby. Let's pull one more card on um, advice for you. Look, that person, because this is, you know, with these um, soulmate, you know, readings, we're assuming that, you know, two people are still, you know, somehow in the game, you know, they're still in each other's energy. I Definitely you're in their energy. I think they are in yours too. I would expect communication from them. Um, for sure, you have the Page of Swords again and the Eight of Wands. So, you know, this person will be communicating with you. It probably won't take them too long. At some point in the springtime or in the summertime, this person, if it's a slow-moving energy, this person will be reaching out. Uh, they will be reaching out. They're going to be trying to fix it. Whether you want to fix it or not is your little, you know, boo-boo situation. It's your choice, but my baby. It's all about free will on this channel, but they will be reaching out because they... Um, they understand how special you are. They're, they're just kind of, uh, sounds like embroiled in their own inner conflict right now. We're trying to figure out, you know, what happened and how, how they can actually do better and stop being su such a coward about the communication side of things. So remember, her wicked ways, it's, this is a good thing. <laughs> Look at how scrumptious she is. Um, I love her, you know. Have your wicked ways. People want to call you wicked, that's fine. You have your boundaries, live your best life, but be, be scrumptious. Be a scrumptious little, um, you know, cherry uh, on top of uh, the cake. Um, that's who you are. All right, baby, this is what I have for you today. Let me know in the comments below if this is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel and you enjoy my videos, uh, why not subscribe, turn on the notification button, and of course, I like the video because liking the video really helps me out as a small creator on YouTube. And if you'd like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. I'll see you next time. My baby, stay spectacular, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. One more good video. <laughs>